it's a journey, right? So if you're experiencing this type of a discomfort, if you're getting work done, whether it's a PT or a chiropractor, um, be consistent and see how your tissue responds over a course of treatment, right? Depending on the problem. Right? I'm Sarah. I'm a new intern here at Cox Stein Chiropractic. I'm a student at Notre Dame of Maryland University where I study biology and I also played volleyball for a couple years which is what brought me in here. So I started as a patient um, because I had some lower back pain due to a lot of years of volleyball um, and now I'm an intern and I've had a great experience. I've learned a lot and met a lot of wonderful people. Hey everybody, it's Dr. <laughs> Warren here at Kelstad Chiropractic. I'm with Sarah today and you guys just got to beat Sarah or maybe we'll put the interview at the end uh, depending on how well she did with the interview. Did you do okay? I think so. Did you, did you give I a good medical so. history? No. What was I supposed to do? You didn't talk about your back at all? No, you I said that your... I have some lower back issues. Gotcha. Well, did yeah. you talk about, talk about the MRI? No. Oh, what, hap what happened? You, took, you got an MRI how long like ago? Four years ago. Four years ago. Okay, mm -hmm. so you've had a history of back pain. You played volleyball, correct? Mm -hmm. What did it show on the MRI? It showed that I had a slight bulging disc at L5S1. Yeah, minimal bulge, slight bulge, right? Yeah. Now, do you remember if it was central or lateral? Central. Central. Central can be a little tricky um, in terms of the symptoms that can present itself, right? It can be bilateral in terms of the pain that you experience. Sometimes it can go down the side of the legs where you've got that discomfort. And you've had similar discogenic pain um, in the past few months, right? Especially when you started getting, started working here, right? You started to work a little bit more. You're on your feet, a little bit more stress day to day. She's also spends probably what, like your entire life writing essays as well outside of here? Yeah. Yeah, you spend all weekend. <laughs> so she's going to med school. She's got to apply to... X amount of schools and a lot of essays, so discogenic pain with sitting and prolonged use is not a great combination, but we've started to adjust you a little bit more regularly. And I think that's been the biggest change in terms of, from a, from a, from a clinical standpoint, your range of motion has improved, you've improved with your adjustments overall, you're starting to move a lot better with them, um, and it's helping out a little bit longer in between visits, right? Yeah. Uh, so that's a win, and we're excited about that. We're going to upgrade you from Phase one yes. to low back phase two. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's a step. It's a step, it's a it's step, a step up. Step in the right direction. Okay, so um, just a thing to cover there, right? Discogenic pain can present. Um, when you have findings on MRI, it's not a clear indicator of pain. Not always, right? So you can have a finding, say like a small disc bulge, and be pain-free completely, right? Um, sometimes that, that area can get irritated, you can have inflammation, you can stress it, overstress it, and that can cause inflammatory markers to create sensations of discomfort, pain down the leg, right? Um, so we see that, and we also see referred pain in people that have no discogenic, or no, excuse me, no disc findings on the MRI. So sometimes there can be irritation around the joint itself or the muscle tissue itself, right? Um, uh, with movement patterns, with overexercise, overuse, or trauma, okay? So there's a lot of things that can present with that kind of referred pain. In her case, it's most likely coming from that L5-S1 central disc bulge, okay? So let me show you how I treat her from an adjustment standpoint. Um, cool. Mm -hmm. Sarah, how's your experience been working? Amazing. Good. Yeah. Come on over to me. Your your sister's been coming in as well. Yeah. Volleyball player too. Yep. We'll do a video with her next time. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And the fans can vote which they which video they like more. Which suite they like more. Which suite they like more. Yeah. Bend to your right <laughs> for me. Good. And go to your left side. So before, when I initially examined her, she could move really well to one side and then she can't get into that space at all on the opposite. And with central uh, irritants, sometimes the pain is on the opposite side that she uh, can't move well to. So if she can't move well to her left side, but she's getting a lot of right-sided symptoms, I think more central irritant. Go into extension for me. That, was, that wasn't even, did you even try? <laughs> It hurts. Far enough, yeah. It hurts when you go back initially or when you get towards the end? Um, towards the end, yeah, like there. It catches at you? Mm -hmm. So she responds really well to flexion. And I don't mean to aggravate you. I, I just, it <laughs> did look like you were trying, I'm not going to lie. Oh. I'm just kidding. 
<laughs> Go towards your toes, Warren. Nice and easy. Good. And come back up. You're what? Not flexible. You're not? No. Did you just touch your toes? Oh, not really. That's pretty good. <laughs> so she's irritated in extension. And then when I have her do it again, she's probably a little bit even more irritated when she really pushes back, and I apologize. When you go forward into flexion, how does that feel? Just normal? Just tight, yeah. Tight in the sense of like you're getting to the end of your range of motion, or tight in the sense that it pulls and causes pain or discomfort? Uh, more towards that. More discomfort. Yeah. yeah. It's tough with, with that type of discomfort, right? And that's why we break down some of your exercises joint by joint, and not so much of a full body fold with a lot of these things and that really does help when it comes to nerve tension and irritation if we do simple exercise like the knee to the chest and we really focus on that and then we do uh, certain forms of flexion based exercises called McKenzie exercises you respond well to those too okay um, so now let's go ahead and now we adjust you okay so her range of motion has improved a lot especially from a lateral flexion standpoint before she couldn't really even bend back at all now she's starting to get into that space a little bit more. Um, not the most comfortable feeling to get to, but she's, she's gaining it. Right? Come on your stomach for me. I'm going to start with your mid-back and, and then I'll work to your neck and then we'll work to your low back. She prefers just for me to work on her full spine when she comes in. She was a patient here originally. And then she started working here um, full time this summer. She's a student going into her senior. Mm -hmm. So if you watch her flex forward towards her toes, she moves really well here, and then she's a little locked up or restricted in her range of motion in her, in her mid back in this general area here. Okay, so take a breath in for me, sir. Easy exhale. Breathe in and exhale. Lift your chin up for me. Loose, loose, easy, relax your shoulders. Good, good job. Relax your hip one. Just a little pressure and release here. Loose, good. Side face me. So, what kind of doctor do you want to become? I like emergency medicine. Emergency at the medicine. <laughs> Have you shot that yeah. experience yet? Not emergency medicine. Hmm. Bunch of ones. Okay, relax here. Take a breath in and exhale. Loose. So when I adjust your lot of compression, relax your shoulders, relax everything right there and loose. Good. Perfect. And the other side for me. And you can kind of feel that table clicking. It's because I take the lumbar component, I have it elevated to this point right on her hip, and then the thoracic piece moves down so it creates a movement of lateral flexion. If you go on this side, I'll show you what I mean by that. Her hips are lined up right here. Here's her low back. Her pelvis ends right here. When I set up my adjustment, I'm putting a lot of pressure over the corner of her pelvis, especially when I get her to this side. And my line of drive is right into the table from the hip, the corner, the posterior superior iliac spine, the edge of the ilium, the sacrum is here. That area of irritation is here. She responds well when I do a lateral adjustment in that area. 
Okay, so the table will go this way. My adjustment will follow through that area. Relax here. Breathe in. Easy. Exhale through your mouth. Good. You're doing well. Here and here. Good. Let it go. Perfect. Come on back. How'd that feel? Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So if you've ever had that type of a problem before, and you can probably relate to this, when you first, when you're really hurting, right, and I started working on you and adjusting you, how did it feel initially to get adjusted compared to now? Um. <laughs> you can be honest. Uh, I'm trying to remember. It felt like much stiffer. A little bit much, harder. Yeah. Like, little I, almost a little soreness there. Maybe yeah, that too. Yeah. But I, I see, I can see what you mean, like, about moving more. Yeah. With it, it just felt like, I don't know, tighter, I guess. Yeah, lock, lock, locked up. Yeah. Just so the system itself, right, when you're when you're dealing with someone that has this type of problem, it takes a while for those muscles, for those joints to all kind of function like they should. And when I have someone that's really moving well, when I set them up in an adjustment, I'll feel more, more cavitation, but also just more uniform movement over those mm -hmm. segments, right? Mm -hmm. And that's more comfortable for sure, right? Imagine if like, um, Imagine if all the joints are moving well, except for one's just not, it's not comfortable at all. It's really tight, it's irritated, there's inflammation, and I go to adjust everything I wants to move around it, but there's this one spot that's holding on, right? As you start to relax a little bit more, as you start to change, that tissue starts to change as your environment starts to improve, you start to feel much better with your adjustments as a relief, right? Mm -hmm. And the point that I'm getting to with this all, right, is one, it's a journey, right? So if you're experiencing this type of a discomfort, if you're getting work done, whether it's a PT or a chiropractor, um, be consistent and see how your tissue responds over a course of treatment, right? Depending on the problem, right? Sarah, we've, I've adjusted you over the last probably like four weeks, two to three times a week. And, and I, I don't normally treat people that often, right? It's not, as, it's not as common for me to see someone so often. It's helpful she works here, obviously, but, um, but if it's someone with discogenic pain like she's got and it's been chronic for a certain amount of years, years, yeah. then it takes some time, right? Yeah. Work, some work too. Low back <laughs> phase two, exercises. So we do PT, we do rehab here, um, and she'll begin some treatment afterwards. You're gonna be doing your exercises at lunch? Of course. Yeah, you wanna get back to lifting. You wanna get back to doing some fun stuff, yes, right? Yes, I do. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'm going to adjust her hips. Um, thank you for watching. We appreciate all the support. This this video, Sarah doesn't know it, but she's going to push us over to 100,000 views. I just I feel it. <laughs> so if you, <laughs> see. if you want to follow Sarah's journey um, in terms of getting treated and working on discogenic pain, as well as all the other videos that we're doing right now, please subscribe. We really appreciate it. And then if you're interested in something that we haven't done yet, like a patient told me yesterday, you and Blake should do a video where you watch another chiropractor adjust people, make comments on it. Yeah. I was like, that's a thing? She's like, oh yeah, I love watching those. So, stuff like that. If you guys have some suggestions on things that you would like to see, uh, please comment below. We love our, our, our viewers and we love the comments you guys leave. Relax your hip. Good. That was fantastic. That was really good. <laughs> Relax. You moved really well there, right? All the way up. Your yeah. your hip and your ankle, and you yeah. all adjusted. All loose. That. Relax here. Good. A little more, just in the hip. Good. All right. Two. two for two, you said. Oh yeah. <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching, everybody. We appreciate it. Sarah, say bye to your fans. Goodbye. So abrupt. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's all you got here. I got.